But first up, well, the political demise of former Queensland Deputy Premier Jackie Trad is a lesson for all politicians. This was a woman who, like Icarus, got a bit too close to the sun. She flamed out, a victim of her own arrogance and hubris. Trad, highly ambitious, who believed the Premier's job was her destiny, played a tough, uncompromising brand of politics. She was the enforcer, unafraid of anyone. Trad pushed through abortion law reform, human rights and urban planning legislation, but she worked against mining and agriculture. And without question, there's absolutely no doubt, she cost Bill Shorten crucial votes in central Queensland at the federal poll last year. Many insist that she probably cost him victory. Telling miners to re-skill was the political own goal of 2019. But Ms Trad was ballsy and with victory came the spoils including the Deputy Premier's job. It gave her basically the keys to the... Oh, the Treasurer's job as well. It gave her the keys to the Kingdom. And with her left faction running the party, the Cabinet, the caucus, the unions, she was without question the most powerful person in Queensland. In fact, Anastasia Palaszczuk, the Premier, took her writing instructions from her. But being powerful doesn't necessarily buy political judgement. And as Ms Trad increasingly wielded that power, she made decisions based on a left-wing ideology that most Queenslanders find distasteful and regressive. She also showed terrible judgement when her husband bought an investment house on the Cross River Rail route, a project she was leading at the time. She compounded the mistake by saying she didn't know her husband was buying it. Not many Queenslanders, not many Australians bought that one. Now, the Crime and Corruption Commission said it didn't have the power to prosecute her, but recommended changing the law, so it did have the power, so the next minister caught, up, uh, caught not updating their pecuniary interest register would face criminal charges. Now, the latest Triple C probe on the appointment of a principal in her electorate is another example of this hubris and arrogance that dominates the thinking of the Labor left, not just in Queensland, I mean, these guys do it all around the country. Prima facie, it's not a good look. With the allegation being that she interfered with the appointment of a principal in her own electorate. Now, why she would do that is a matter for her, allegedly. Six months out from an election, it's a distraction at worst. Who would have thought Jackie Trad would stand down on a matter of principle? Now, in a puff piece in the Financial Review after winning in 2015, this is what... Jackie Trad said. She said, Campbell Newman was a megalomaniac. There were no checks or balances. The ultimate checks and balance is at the ballot box and people very much expressed their preference at that time. Now it was almost as if five years on, she was looking at herself. She'd morphed into the very thing she railed so strongly against. Now, it's a good lesson for somebody like Dan Andrews. You've got to have checks and balances, Dan. When they go, so too does the judgment and political nous.